What's up guys? I like starting out the video here without showing you the tank right away. So here's Bentley. Anyways, this is the update on the 10 gallon Nano Reef. A lot going on in here. Um, I switched over the Aquion power filter to the back here and picked up this Coralia uh, Nano. Um, 240 gallons an hour. It's a pretty nice little pump. Does pretty good for the, the SPS up top here. All this bird's nest. Let's go closer here. Um, I've got some pallies in here. I took these uh, Zenyas out of the 125 and put them in here. Uh, let's see. I got some uh, green star polyps up here that uh, hoping will take over that rock. But what I really wanted to do was glue that little mat to the back here so um, when that starts to grow out I'll pull a piece of the mat off uh, let's see what else is down here I got some frog spawn um, and Kenya tree these this frog spawn here and that Kenya tree I got for sale on Craigslist right now so hopefully those will go today <laughs> excuse me um, I've got some awesome blue and purple mushrooms in here and again guys sorry my camera just does no justice for any of this but um, those are beautiful. Um, those also came out of the 125. Um, I've got some green. I don't even know what these are called, but I'm just gonna call them nuclear greens, or maybe they're those uh, Hulk, Hulks. I don't know. Whatever, Incredible Hulks or whatever. Anyways, um, so I've got those in here. Why is this not focusing? Anyway, so I got some of them Zoas in here, and then I got some Sunny D's in here that I put on a frag plug. And then there's some Armor of Gods back there. This is annoying that none of this is focusing. But there's some Armor of Gods back there on that little frag plug there. Um, let's see. And this rock up here is just a miscellaneous rock of leftover zoas and mushrooms that I couldn't really figure out what to do with. So put them all on that rock. I'm going to let them grow out and I'm going to sell that uh, rock. Or maybe I'll use that for... Uh, my contest, which um, I guess I'll do another update on. Um, let's see, what else is new here? Um, I do have a little hermit crab in there. Really nice uh, blue blue leg hermit crab. Uh, peppermint shrimp is in here somewhere. There it is there, underneath the rock. Pretty sure my camera's not going to focus on that. And uh, my fire clownfish is always back here somewhere. Uh, if I were to throw food in here, he'd come out. This is my favorite thing in the tank here, these mushrooms. Uh, the play sand, guys, is working beautifully. Um, it hasn't clouded my water up at all. Um, not even the slightest. Um, there hasn't been any, like, uh, the water hardness isn't outrageous because of it. It actually works really well, and it was a really cheap alternative to going and buying a... a uh, like 20 pound bag or 15 pound bag of live sand and um, I see the tank has been seeded with rock out of the 125 so it's it's all good but um, yeah this little nano thing is is real fun um, I, I fuck around with this thing all the time um, oh duh I made these lights um, it's a retrofit kit that I put together and pretty much bolted everything to this piece of plexiglass here it's a uh, two 24 watt um, T5 uh, high outputs, uh, one 10,000 K up front, and then the uh, actinic in the rear. Um, and I put these little hooks on here because I don't know if I want to suspend it from the ceiling or if I'm just gonna make something to uh, like go behind the stand and then hold it up, um, like underneath, like put whatever will hold it here so it'll hold it above the tank. I don't know, I haven't figured out exactly what I want to do with it yet. But, um, yeah, really good light. Works out real well. And, you know, me, I'm always cheap, so this was a good DIY thing. Has a huge fucking ballast. Where's it at for two little? I'm oh, not going to be able to see it. Fuck it. But, um, yeah, this little Aquaman filter is doing real good. I'm going to do a water change on it today. Um, I haven't done one since I set it up, so it's been about a week and a half or so. So I'm going to do a water change on it today. Um, but yeah guys, here is the Nano, and um, my next video, the update of the 125, excuse me, I will uh, 
have some details on my contest I'm gonna have and um, just a quick I guess teaser the the prizes will be you know I'll have some birds nest and maybe some some product but I don't know how I'm gonna do the product because I got some fresh water and salt water subscribers so I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do there but um, that'll be for the next video I'm still gonna figure out some details but um, yeah the lights just came on so not everything's really opened up that much but um, this tank is amazing I'm gonna throw a couple more things in here from the uh, 125 I've got a uh, what is it a mushroom toadstool um, that I'm gonna frag off in the 125 and put put a chunk of it in here and let that grow out in here um, I'm really trying to find a small bubble tip in here because I want that fire clown uh, to host in it so anyways guys this is the update of the little 10 gallon here this is quickly becoming my favorite tank almost and um, I'm gonna get a little mag cleaner here BM just did a really cool review on the little nano thing uh, glass cleaner from two little fishies and I think I'm gonna go pick one of those up this afternoon that way I can start cleaning this glass off here um, that's what you're seeing it's not the outside of the glass guys it's the inside so um I might pick up that two little fishy thing in here because it, the one that I got for the 125 would would not work in here too big. So, anyways, guys, um, next update will be on the 125. This is episode two for the Nano Reef, and uh, I will bring you another update with the Nano uh, probably in another week.